Hello friends and crafters, welcome to Carol's Craft Cottage. I am so excited today to show you this beautiful recipe album that I made using some of Scrap Diva Designs dies. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I was in love with Frank Garcia's milkshake, strawberry milkshake paper. And I was going to get it but everybody was using it, so I decided to do something different, and I came across this collection from Shabby Art Boutique on Etsy, and I knew this was the collection for me. So let me go ahead and share with you the dies that I used from Scrap Diva Designs. So decorating throughout this album, I used the Strawberry Shaker die, and it is a small one and a large one, as you can see right there. I also used uh, the Strawberry Sentiments. And I used the Rose Petal die. And I used the Flower die for the leaves. All right. If you care to purchase any of these, they can be found on this website right here. I'm going to leave links to the dies that I used in the description box below to make it easy for you to find them. Please use Carol 10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. So what I have over here are some strawberry tags. What I like about this uh, shaker die is that you don't have to make it a shaker. You can make it more like a, even more like a strawberry like this, which I put some gold paper behind so that you can see the little seeds in the strawberry. And it has a little hole here, which is perfect for tying a little tie. Now the purpose of this is to be tied on a strawberry jam jar if you make your own strawberry jam, which I have a recipe for that in this album. And you'll see, this is pretty much a strawberry themed recipe album, but you can put anything, any kind of recipe you want in there. So I made these to go onto a canning jar with strawberry jam in it. And I put a white backing so that you could put the month and the date of the canning of the strawberry jam. And all I did is put it inside this little uh, glassine bag. This is gonna go in a pocket in the album. All right, and let me go ahead and show you the shaker. And as you can see here, how pretty this is with some pink gingham. And these little flowers right here were made with the rose petal dye, as well as the flowers that you see on the album cover. But you can make these little strawberry blossoms so easy with the smallest uh, petal, which is this one right here and you just cut these three out. It only takes three, and there's some little prills in the inside. It makes it so pretty. So that's the large one, and these are the smaller ones. Really, really cute. This is the size of my tags. I love them, so pretty. So let me go ahead and share with you my album. This kit was from Shabby Art Boutique, again, on Etsy, and you get the shapes and everything to create this plus all the images. So it is absolutely gorgeous. So on my cover, I have the Scrap Diva Design Rose Petal, of course, and the flower leaves. And then these strawberries right here are a Cottage Cuts die. And this comes with your kit, the uh, recipe sentiment here. And I just made an extra one so that I could pop our family on top of there. And also the decorator bag, I popped up on some foam squares and I put little lace under here and it's a pocket. And inside is this image of a little oven mitt. Really cute, right? It's very, very, very sweet. This album is amazing. <laughs> I loved everything about this. So let me get this so that you can see everything. And I did it with rings so you could take things in and out, make it easy for that. Let me see if I'm squared up here. All right, 
On this side, you do get the pockets in the kit in this image. And I put some recipes. This album will hold a lot of recipes. I have recipes in here, plus I have blank cards for writing recipes later. So this comes with the kit. Isn't that beautiful with the macaroons? It looks so pretty in there. And then I did the one inch uh, circles to decorate my recipe cards. Have to make everything pretty. I think I could just sit and look through this. And then you have this image right here and it's blank on the back in case you wanna write some notes or a small recipe. This on this side, if we have a uh, strawberry, which is from the Scrap Diva Designs sentiment, strawberry sentiment die. And I also made a couple strawberries here from the die and I just put little bows on the top to decorate it. And these images come with the kit. Then we go to this page. You also get the shape of this uh, album as well. Make sure I got it in there. Um, and you get the, all the pockets, like I said. This strawberry is from Scrap Diva Design Sentiments. And then in this pocket, I put the circle that matches this one right here. You get several sizes of these. You get one inch, two inch, and this, I don't know what this size is. And you could see that I decorated my recipe cards and I bought my recipe cards at the Dollar Tree. So I doubled them up because they felt too thin to me, especially for a keepsake uh, recipe book. And then this sentiment comes with the kit on the strawberries that uh anything with strawberries that are in the kit i use uh glossy glossy accents to highlight them and then i use a lot of stickles to highlight the flowers on the images your kit comes with these recipe cards and they are i made these as pockets and you can write a recipe on there. And also it is a pocket and I have the larger recipe cards in here. And there's three in each pocket and they just slip in here and you do get the tabs. So uh, I was thinking like, I haven't done anything with this yet, but you could have cakes, cookies, pies, however you want to set it up if you're going to make one of these for yourself. So there are three here. So there's uh, three, six, nine, 12 places for recipes right there. And then there's enough room to stick more uh, recipe cards in here if you want to. This is a decorated page and these are all images that come in your kit. And this little sentiment here that says life is sweet is from the Scrap Diva Designs Strawberry Sentiment Die. And I, all I did was take some paper and ruffle it and sew it on my sewing machine and sewed the buttons on top of there. These strawberries come in the kit as well. And this is what I'm talking about, about the glossy accents. It really highlights these strawberries. So I did all my strawberries in glossy accents and I also ran it down the cake as well to give it a dimension and a more realistic look. This right here, uh, this piece right here was from my friend Angie. She had sent me a whole bunch of these uh, little rosettes and I wanted to use it in this book because it's so pretty and those are the strawberries from the digital kit. Go to this page now and I like you very much is a Scrap Diva design die and then this strawberry is as well and I just put a little uh, acrylic bow on the top. These images come in the kit and these strawberries right here are from Cottage Cuts and what I have in this pocket I love this little spoon, so I just cut it and tucked it in there. And this is an image in the kit, and it's blank on the back, so you can write a recipe. 
And then this is just in there for prettiness. <laughs> you could also write some, uh, you know, equivalents. You could write, you know, equivalents and different things like that for cooking on the back. These recipe cards are something that I've had. They have strawberries on them, so they got stuck in here. And you get this in the kit. You get these um, menu plans. And they have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you could put French toast for breakfast, tuna sandwiches for lunch, and maybe a pork roast for dinner, that type of thing. So we have several of those, and they all tuck into this pocket right here. This album is something that I could sit down and just look at <laughs> when I'm not doing anything. If I'm watching TV or something, I'd want to look at it. And here we go with uh, three more recipe cards that have three recipe cards inside, like this. So you could stick more in there. All right, and then we get to another pretty page. This says uh, Fresh Picked. That is from Scrap Diva Designs. And also this strawberry is as well. This is the, I believe this is the large strawberry. Yeah, this is the large strawberry right there. I think it's so beautiful. And this paper right here is like a, a quilt. And so I sewed some netting on top of there to make shakers on some of these there's a there's one here i did three one two three with some sequins in it i just love how that turned out and i have a little charm here that is a mixer Isn't that cute little KitchenAid mixer this strawberry this one and these right here accenting this are uh cottage cuts dye and these this is images from the kit. So we flip this one over and we got another page with more pockets. This right here comes in the kit, that image and this one with the little whisk. And we have this image right here, strawberry cupcake. Isn't that pretty? And see how I put the glossy accents. I hope you can see it. Yeah, I can see it with a little bit of sparkle on there. And these are some other recipe cards that I had that go perfect with the strawberries. Here's that really pretty paper. It goes tucked in right there. I did not sew anything on here because I knew this would be uh, used a lot and I needed all the room on there. This little sweet is a die from my stash and here we go with three recipe cards with recipe cards inside. And they all have tabs. Once I decide what I'm going to put in there, I can write, you know, like casseroles, vegetables, things like that. Christmas cookies. So I was going to pull that out, but it's stuck right now. Here, maybe I can pull this one out. Here we go. See more recipes. All right. So this holds a lot of recipes. And then we got this beautiful page. Here's that spoon again. I popped it up on this picture. I didn't want to put too much on this page because I love this picture. It says Granny, Granny's Apple Pie. So if you have your grandma's apple pie recipe you could put it in this mini album so pretty love that then we go on to this page and these are images from the kit and this one uh, says it's a spiced rum fig pie and these are some recipes that I put in here this fresh picked is from Scrap Diva Designs, the sentiment right here. We're gonna pull these out. This is from the images in the kit. And these are some of my uh, favorite strawberry uh, recipes that I've had for some time. 
This one is awesome. Strawberry chiffon pie, one of my favorite pie recipes. And you can see I have a little whisk tied on top of that one. And then on top of this one, I have a little, uh, what do you call it, a muffin pan. And one of my crocheted flowers. And it, this is strawberry cake with cream cheese frosting. This is another one that's excellent. These strawberries uh, come in the kit. And I left these uh, blank on the back. More uh, recipes could be put on the back of that. And then this one, this came with the kit. So I just stuck it in here. It's the spiced plum fig pie recipe. And it's got somebody's name on the top of there. How cute is that, right? And I just uh, clipped this because the tendency for the, uh, the big tag is to flip out of this mini album so I just paper clip it in it that solved the the issue I'll put that right there isn't that beautiful then we have this page right here whoops I'm sorry I have a tag right here and this is a apron beautiful apron a wood cook stove I had a wood cook stove when I lived in a log home and I loved it it made the best turkey that you ever ate <laughs> And mine had a copper reservoir so that uh, when you had it going, you could heat water and it would help be efficient for the house uh, that you wouldn't have to, have to use your hot water heater. And I have a little cup measuring cup here, charm. Pretty, isn't it? A rolling pin. And this is blank on the back. You can put some more recipes on there. And then we come to this page and you could see that the spiced uh, plum fig pie is theme is carried out between these two pages with the strawberries. And in here we have this little pickle, isn't this cute? That comes in the kit. And then this does as well, the pie. And then this is another one of my favorite recipes. It's summer salad with strawberries. Uh, we eat this quite a bit when strawberries are in season. I love that. And then in your kit, you get shopping lists. So I have several shopping lists in this little pocket. And I have a measuring spoon charm tucked on here on the little paper clip. And this just all fits in here. Super cute, right? Then on this page, we have Life is Sweet, which is from Scrap Diva Designs. And so is this pretty strawberry right here. And in this pocket, I did clip this down so it doesn't come out. I have perfect paper clip. I got a couple paper clips, I guess. <laughs> I have this beautiful macaroons, and it's big enough you can write stuff on the back of it. I like that. And this is the best ever strawberry ice cream recipe. And you do get these images in the kit. It's called Granny's Pantry, by the way. And there's the strawberry jam recipe that goes with the strawberry tags that I made and then strawberry muffins this is a little crocheted flower I made I've had it for some time and I like the way it aged and then I put one on the back so that uh, it shows <laughs> from the front of the album and that looks so pretty so let me go ahead and click these back together I love 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 this album just put it like that slips in here and then I clip this on here like this a little bit so that big tag doesn't fall out and we got three more recipe pockets which will do 12 recipes or whatever else you want to put inside there and then we got the last page and so berry sweet comes from scrap diva designs and we have a little strawberry accenting this recipe right here, which is strawberry cupcakes. And let's see, all these images come 
with the kit. This scale, so pretty. Oh, I love this album so much. <laughs> and I, you can see I did all the sewing and everything on it. And then this is the back, our secret family recipes. One part laughter, two parts fun, a dash of kisses and hugs, and a generous helping of love. So this is a beautiful keepsake recipe album. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're thinking about making one, you will have lots of fun like I did. So I'd like to thank you all for joining me today uh, for this uh, reveal of my project. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.